Okay, so we're going to talk about absolute value and uh, also work with some exponents here as part of our order of operations um, notes. Um, and absolute value, you know, if I ask what absolute value is, typically we'll say, well, it's always positive or it's the opposite of it's negative. But really what we're looking for here is absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. And since distance is always measured as a positive value, right? you can't say from me to Dave is negative three feet. We're, I'm three feet from him. He's three feet from me. So even though we go in the opposite direction, we still measure a distance as a positive. All of these absolute values will be measured as positives. Uh, because again, it is the distance. So whether it's the absolute value of three, that will be three. Absolute value of negative eight, we know, is eight. Absolute value of negative three is also a three. But the absolute value, it does act as a grouping symbol. So we're going to do within, we're going to simplify in here. This really becomes the absolute value of negative 13. So within the absolute value bars, we simplify and then we take the absolute value of negative 13 and we evaluate that to be 13. And we're going to talk a little bit more about absolute value uh, moving forward this year and then uh, as you go through algebra 1, algebra 2 and so on, uh, absolute value becomes more and more important. Right now it's just basically it's the you, if you're evaluating it and it becomes the positive value of or the distance from zero that whatever is inside those absolute value bars uh, is. And so right now it's not a big deal. It will become more important as we move along here in mathematics. Uh, the other topic here is powers and exponents. Okay, And if we take a look at uh, this expression here, one way we would say that is 4 to the third power, 4 to the third. Right? And looking at that we know that uh, the 4 we would call the base here right? so the base is the 4 uh, the 3 we would say is the exponent and the entire thing I'll circle the entire thing in red here All right, that's going to be the power be the base and the exponent combined we also said in the previous notes that another, you, could, you could also call this an index right, instead of an exponent. Um, we know what that means, right? We know that uh, it means how many times, right? The exponent tells me how many times I'm using the base as a factor. How many times I'm going to use the base as a factor. So 4 to the third we know means 4 times 4 times 4 which is indeed 64, or whatever. We'll just guess. Um, we're taking a look at uh, this other one that I have here, 4 to the 3rd to the 2nd. Uh, well, it would really mean 4 to the 3rd times. We're using 4 to the 3rd now as the base, and 2 as the exponent. So 4 to the 3rd times 4 to the 3rd. And then we could write this out uh, thricely here, thricely here. the same as 4 to the 6th. But we'll get into exponent rules uh, when we get into chapter 4. Uh, but just, just basic reminders about exponents. Okay, so uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a series of problems here. and let you pause it, uh, answer, and then hit play again, and then we'll review your answers. Okay? So number one exponent tells how many times a base is used as a factor. Together they're called a power. Obviously that's true. We're not going to give you any time. Uh, that's definitely true. That's exactly what it means. Uh, order of operations, which is the order which you would simplify. So one, two, three, four. Decide what you what you would do. One, two, three, four, three, one, four, two, whatever you think it is. 
course, right? It's grouping symbols first, then exponents, then multiplication division, then adding and subtracting. So uh, what was that? Four, two, one, three. Four, two, one, three was the answer. Number three, to simplify means to write an expression in the simplest form. To evaluate means simplify by substituting a number for a value in expression. That is true. Simplify, I'm going to go with step four. Simplify means I'll do all the order of operations possible. Uh, so this is a true statement. Okay, so now evaluate when x equals negative four. So we're going to evaluate, we're going to come up with a value answer. Uh, when x is negative 4. Take a second and let me jot that, jot down this expression and substitute in negative 4. Now I have this substitute with parentheses. I have that written. So I think that that's going to be important for us. Okay, so if we substitute in with parentheses, something like this and then I'm going to evaluate means I'm going to do all the order of operations possible here so we'll do the multiplication first plus negative 8 I'm just going to write minus 8 and then I'm going to add them in any order I want negative 10 plus 8 is negative 18 so hopefully I add negative 18 Number four, so take a second, you simplify it, right? I'm going to give you the answer. Pause this right now. Good. And unpause when you're done. Okay, so we should have done the exponent first to give us a nine. Right? We can bring everything down. Do the multiplication next, and then add or subtract. Uh, we end up with seven plus nine, which we call sixteen. Is that right? That sounds right. All right, simplify that one. Hit pause. I give you the answer. Okay, we have 6 in the bracket. Inside the bracket, we've got to do the parentheses first. So it becomes a 5 in there. Then we'll do the multiplication here to be 10. So the bracket itself becomes 13 minus 10, or 3. So this just turns into 6 times 3, which is 18. Okay, we're evaluating A is 12, B is 2. Pause it, and then unpause when you're done with the answer. Okay, substituting in 12 for A. And 2 for B. That's our expression. Do the exponent next. Multiplication and division as it comes from left to right. So this is 36 and then 4, 32. All right. Uh, what is this? Can anybody identify what this is? Yes, very nice. It is the we're going to find area of a triangle. Area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Uh, so if you substitute in the base and height, the area is 18 over 2, or 9. So this is an area. It doesn't say that it would be, but it would be 9 square units. Uh, RT squared, this is not really. Well, RT squared had the same value as RT squared. If 
if r is 14 and t is 9? That's correct. The answer is no. It will not because uh, this first one, we're squaring only the t, only the 9. So it would be 14 times 9 squared or 14 times 81. Uh, this one, RT squared, would multiply first and then square the RT, that product. So whatever 9 times 14 is, let's say it's 126 or something. Uh, you'd be squaring 126, that would be a much larger value than the first one. So it will not have the same value. Uh, simplify this one, let's pause this. Unpause when you got an answer. Okay, so in the parentheses, we do that work first. And then we have this division. I got 3 plus 22 or 25. Very nice. All right, evaluate again. A is 13, B is 8. Pause this. Unpause when you've got an answer. Okay. Uh, so substitute in here. parentheses next, so we got 15 times 6 divided by, what is that, 3? So we got not, um, what's 15 times 6? To go with uh, 90. Thanks very much. Namaste.